Hello agents and welcome back to another Division video. Today I thought I'd make a video about the optimization station as it's a hot topic right now because the thoughts around it are that it's way too expensive and actually I found a way of doing it where actually the price doesn't matter. But what actually does matter is your SHD level and if you're not around 1800 perhaps 2000 this definitely isn't the method for you. But if you are at that point and you're unaware of how to do this method, I'll go through it step by step and I'll show how to upgrade this M1A, which I'm doing right now, as you can see, with actually not very much work for getting an absolute boatload of materials. So the method behind this is actually creating a new character and starting at New York and running through the New York missions. And when you get to the end and you kill Keener, sorry if that's a spoiler, but it shouldn't be at this point, you get access to his watch. And when you get access to his watch, what you will notice is you'll get 200 in each of these sections. You have to use one for the tutorial. And then the rest of it goes into scavenging. And as you can see, that gives me 2,241. I've used a couple. Uh, but if you go into scavenging, I can then basically give myself any of these materials. And everything we need for this is here. We've got money so we can buy weapons if we're upgrading weapons or armor. We've got all the other kinds of materials and then we've got the new optimization materials at the bottom. And basically it just takes a little bit of running around and you can optimize whatever piece of gear that you want with all of your SHDs. You then delete the character and go again. It takes a couple of hours to run through New York, especially if you've got a friend with you that's willing to help you uh, if they're at max level or if you do it as a duo or a trio with all fresh characters, it's still pretty quick. You know, three hours is the kind of benchmark if you just press on and get on with it. One thing you need to do before you do this method is head over to the optimization, uh, sorry, to the crafting station, and you need to unlock all of these blueprints. Now, there is some I've not unlocked yet, I think, or have I done them all? Yeah, I've done them all, but I did them all using CP3s. Uh, they're really, really easy. Uh, and you can reset control points now as well. Uh, so just get all the blueprints unlocked because all the different gear requires different kinds of materials. So when you head over to the optimization station, what you're going to notice is that this is going to be the most expensive though. I need 300 of the rifle parts, 150 of the next ones, 90 of the next ones, and then... 60 of the ones after so we can take care of the two of them right away so what i'm going to do we need 150 of the flag and 60 of the board so you basically just head into here really really easy we need 60 of these and this is the problem like holding the button is really annoying you can probably hear me spamming spamming the keyboard but what i'll do when we get to later points i'll fast forward these bits so that it's not quite as boring just so I can show you the method, basically. And this is on the new character, not on my main. And because we've bought the shared materials blueprint from Anaya behind us, everything's transferable. So every bit of material I add actually adds to any characters on this account. All I've done is transfer the gun over using the stash just to make it easier because this one's got way more stash space for buying things and deconstructing. And we've got 122 field con How much wood do we need? 60 of them. I mean, 150 of them. And we get two of each of these. And already that's two out of four sets of the upgrade done and dusted. And there we go, 150. So next on our list, for this one, it's going to be a black tusk material. We need 90. So all we do, we head over to here. Good to see you. You need to craft something? Find the black tusk material. There it is. And we get 10 for every craft. Unfortunately, we can only store 300 printer filament, which is really annoying. So it means a max of three crafts. Agent requesting backup. But then, oh no, we've run out of materials again. 
But actually, no, we've not. We just go in here and we're going to spam the SHDs. So as you can see, the higher the SHD level you are, the more valuable this method is. But it's certainly way quicker running New York and actually probably a little bit more interesting than just running around needlessly trying to farm regular missions and trying to farm and not being very well rewarded for materials elsewhere in the game. And again, you just flip straight back in. Black dust materials. And we should now be able to craft another three. Not quite, but how many did we need? I didn't check. You need help with something? And for max oh, we're actually done. Okay, so we're good. Perfect. So now this is the, the most irritating part. We actually need 300 of the rifles. So normally you would think, do you know what? I need to head over to targeted loot and uh, farm rifles. But we're going to do it a different way. We're going to use the bench. And as you can see, uh, I've, well, I can actually do a few here because I've got receiver components. You probably maxed out on these because they come really from destroying any weapon in the game. So what we'll do, we'll max our polycarbonate and we'll make the most of this before we go and do the other part just wish you could hold this down or basically use like a a tab a sliding tool to say actually take all these shds and max But as you can see, we do chew through the SHDs really, really quickly. So it is still important to farm almost god roll gear. But come January, when they make the changes to this, it's very likely they're going to lower the cost. So this method will be even better come then. So we're heading to the rifles. And now we should be able to create four, I guess, for it. And there we go, we've created 40. Now we've run out of receiver components. Looking for something special? And to finish this off, well, to finish the weapon damage to max, we still need quite a few. Around 237, if my maths is correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the theatre because I know at the shop there there's a rifle for sale that's pretty cheap. And if you're struggling for money, remember your SHDs can also give you money for this as well. So you head into here, we've got an MK17, maybe you can find cheaper, but definitely don't be buying the named variants because they're way more expensive. Pleasure to do business. And we're just going to buy an absolute bucket load, as much as the money we've got allows us to. Appreciate the purchase. And just Always for the video's sake, rather than maxing out my inventory, we'll break these down. Deconstruct. And as you can see, we got some receiver components. We can store up to 2,000, so be mindful of that. But we also got the rifle allowed. That's why we hunted out a rifle, because that's what we're upgrading. It actually gives us towards that goal as well. So at this point what I'll do, I'll fast forward the video until I get up to 300 of this component. And now we've maxed our receiver components, we can head back over. 
as you can see as well we got some other components as well just as a bonus from deconstructing Not enough materials. Max out our polycarbonate again. This is probably going to take you around 15 minutes to do the highest cost section on any piece of gear. Which in 15 minutes, no matter what other farming method you're going to do, you're probably not going to raise the materials needed. And as you can see before, I was using the credits. On my SHD points as well to buy the the guns needed. Another row to titanium. Probably should have just maxed all of them again. Do that last section rather than max it out. And we're out to receive a components again. But if we head over here now and just check how many we actually got. So you can see another 130 will probably do it. So one more run of this will probably be enough. So this time around we'll actually do the math, pull up the calculator, Remember to stay hydrated. so I'll receive a components right now, I've got 200 so we need 1800 to max, Ready to make a deal? let's buy one, I appreciate your business. We're actually in 1,754 now because it gave us 46. So what we'll do, we'll divide that by 46, which means we need to buy 39 guns to max. So we'll fast forward this part again. All right, so I think we should be okay now. Let's just see. If you notice suspicious activity, report it to the marriage you think. Do not engage in or risk causing potential harm to yourself. Some more polycarbonate to the last one. Oops, we're actually 20 short, so that's really easy to fix. We'll fast forward this last part and get to the craft.
One thing that's actually really important, I probably should have mentioned this right at the beginning of the video. And most people probably forget about this because it's not something we've done since we actually started our characters. Hello. So if you go in here to the perks section, uh, one of these uh, is actually... So you can carry more resources. Not that one. Not that one. I know it's here somewhere. That one. So make sure you upgrade this. Bye. As well, otherwise you'll have a much harder time. And we're going to go here, optimize our rifle, and then there we go. Took us about 20 minutes all in all, because we had to go to a different vendor. But now that is max. And as you'll notice now, it's exactly the same cost again for me to finish off the critical hit damage for this rifle. The reason I'm doing this rifle is because I can just change the talent to whatever I want. But there we go. So I hope that's a little bit more of an insight into the optimization station. Uh, essentially you would do any kind of gear the same way as well. Uh, you can do this method for anything. And as you can see I used a good few hundred SHDs. But out of my SHDs I'll probably get about four or five pieces of equipment upgraded with some materials left to spur. And then again a couple of hours through New York and I can do it all over again. Now the cost is going to likely to be reduced in January, they've already announced that. So if you don't feel like doing this now, you don't have to. But if you want to try and get ahead of the game a little bit because there's nothing much else to do and you want to min-max your gear, I'm a stickler for that. Uh, I thought I'll go ahead and get it done right now, why not? Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you found this information useful. Let me know your comments down below in the comments section. Check out my links in the description. Hit that thumbs up to help me out with that YouTube algorithm and hit subscribe for more Division content. Thanks for watching everybody. I could be live on Twitch right now, so come and check me out, twitch.tv slash DJ Tickle. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.